Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're diving into a really interesting hands-on project involving a suspicious death case. Our goal is to examine the contents of the drive, identify any potential evidence, and extract relevant files. If you're new to digital forensics or just curious about how this process works, stick around. I'll walk you through every step. Let's get right into it. First, we'll open Autopsy for Windows and create a new case. And in the new case information window, we'll name the case Chapter 1, Project 1. Once that's done, we'll click Next. In the additional information window, we'll enter Chapter 1, Project 1 as, as the case number and add our name as the examiner. In the Select Data Source window, we'll choose Disk Image or VM File from the options listed. Next, we'll browse to our work folder to set it as the base directory. In the Configure Ingest Modules window, We'll click Select All to enable all the ingest modules. After selecting them, we'll click Next and then Finish to start the analysis. Once Autopsy finishes processing, we'll see the Tree Viewer pane on the left. Here, we'll expand the View section then File Types. By extension, we can see that there is nothing for us to check here Moving on to Documents, which will show us all the document files found on the USB drive. We're looking for any clues about the suspicious death. This could be a text file, PDF, or a Word document. In Autopsy, Office documents refer to Microsoft Office file formats, while plain text refers to files like Notepad or Notes. In the Office files, we have a file labeled Sylvia's Assets, which is an Excel file. We know by the extension, we want to collect this file as evidence for our case. So to do so, we will right-click the file and then select Extract File. Autopsy will automatically save these files in the case subfolder under our work folder export. Moving on, we have another file in plain text to extract Suicide 1. This definitely seems to be related to our case, so we'll also extract this. Let's also expand the rest of the tree viewer to make sure that no files were left behind. Now let's minimize autopsy and investigate the files that we extracted. We can find these files by going to the case folder, chapter one, project one. Click under export and we find our extracted files. In the plain text file, suicide one, we see an alleged note from Sylvia. The investigation suggests that Sylvia may have left a suicide note as indicated by the plain text file, Suicide 1. This note provides a possible explanation for her death, but further analysis is required to confirm its authenticity. Additionally, the Excel file reveals Sylvia's assets, valued at over $2.7 million, which raises questions about potential motives or external influences. This is what we will include in report summarizing these findings, including these key facts. And that's it. We've successfully analyzed the USB drive image, identified potential evidence, and extracted the relevant files. If you found this walkthrough helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Let me know in the comments if you've ever worked with Autopsy or if you have any questions about digital forensics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.